This spiral did not fall as planned. What's up, Domino community? We are using this awesome psychorama wall, which has the infinity background, so it kind of goes on forever, to make a rebuild, but a better version of the amazing triple spiral. Instead of a triple spiral, we're using a double spiral that goes in, and then it also goes out. And we'll have domino lines on the ground as fields, and then it'll go on top of the wall, and then the speed wall will also fall. So there's like three different layers, but it's like two spirals within one spiral. I think this is called the double in out double spiral. Is that what it would be called? I haven't like completely finished the layout, so I don't know how wide it can be. But the basic idea, if you look at this random drawing, the yellows would start, they'd go in, reach the center. This is like a crossing point in the speed wall, and then the pink and red will all go out at the same time. Yeah. So it'll go like floor, then on top, then the yep. speed walls, just like yes. just like the triple spiral. Each colored spiral is technically the same. It's just rotated. So like if you see this makes kind of like an S pattern. We have that same S pattern going this way and then it just grows out and out. This is where we'll cross the speed walls. I'm using a field starter as a measurement in between different rows. So I know that every row is the same distance away. That'll kind of keep the shape of a perfect circle. walls are going to fall somewhat meet in the middle depending on the speed and I need them to cross and also knock down these. I've turned the dominoes 90 degrees. Usually all of the dominoes should be standing in the direction of the wall but because this wall is falling in this direction I want it to topple through this wall that's perpendicular to it. So hopefully this wall since it's kind of like a domino line falling will just knock down the lines and then knock down these two. Even if one side of it is slower it'll still knock down this middle wall that's going the other direction at the same time. So these will be in sync. Oh, hey! Hey! Good to see you there. Yeah. We have a new filter. I'm Joel. My YouTube channel is called Smiley Peace One. Hi, we there. It's looking very complicated so far. Yesterday, I spent the whole day figuring out the middle of it. But now that I have it all planned out, it's pretty straightforward. It's just fields that go around and then the domino lines on top and then the speed wall itself. But it's a little tricky because we're having two parts of the spiral fall at once. So first the yellow field and then the red field goes out and then a blue domino line will be built on top, which will go in. Because they're coming in at the same time here, we can't have it cross through because I don't know which line is going to beat it. Like this could fall and knock down that direction without knocking these or the other way around. So I think what I need to do is I've taped these two dominoes together to put right here. And now we can have this domino line go on this little bridge, go this way, and then this one can go on this bridge and then go around so that they don't interfere with each other. This project is kind of weird because you have to build a little bit of everything all at once. If we wait to do the line on top, we just wouldn't be able to reach it. So we made a lot of progress. We're actually pretty close to finishing. We just need to fill in some of these loops that go around like a quarter of the circle. But it's getting a little bit repetitive because it's just the same thing over and over, building a speed wall and then you're doing the field part of it. We're going crazy essentially right here, but we're very motivated to finish. It's just very repetitive, but it's worth it. So give this a thumbs up because we're, we're working hard over here. So we're taping this entire clear staircase because the curved wall back there will not support this on its own. So we need to literally tape all of these dominoes and then tape down the staircase on this part of the wall so it doesn't tip over. And also tape the dominoes on the edge of it so they don't fall off the staircase. <laughs> this feels so weird. Oh my gosh, that is... <laughs> Tricky. Yeah. This is the test for the final staircase, which is tilted pretty heavily. So I've taped all 
all these dominoes so they won't fall off the staircase. And here's a test. So I've taped this one domino on a one-way tape hinge so it can only fall in this, this direction as well as this little bridge. I'm going to place it very carefully. We're really close to finishing the spiral. We're doing the connecting lines now and we need to split the domino line into two and time it so that both of the sides fall at the same time. And to do this, we've actually counted out how many dominoes. So this is the split point. I'm gonna go around here and here, which knocks down the yellow and then the yellow on that side to go around. Go. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That wasn't as satisfying as I thought. What happened? I don't know. It fell. Like it side. fell early somehow. Was it on that side? Yeah, it was on that yeah. side. Yeah. Maybe because it was uh, too stilted. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. It fell. Okay, I'm watching this back. This is what happened. I literally forgot to turn the GoPro on. It was on the time lapse. It had the best overhead shot. It had it completely sky view so you could see the field inside of the spiral and I totally blanked it and didn't turn it on. Yeah, I'm very sad. But hey, I mean, we still got like 10 other camera angles. So this spiral did not fall as planned. Now let's let's replay this a little bit. Let's see what happened here. The field falls and then it's starting to go up the steps. Look where they fell. It fell right on the wall. See that pink domino that starts to come off? Even if the dominoes didn't fall off the staircase, I think that wall would have fallen anyway because when the blue dominoes on top start falling, you can see that this wall is already tipping. See that? Also, I just noticed that this white domino is literally on the edge of the wall before it toppled. So I think I built the wall just a little bit too big because it was very, very slightly on the leaning curved part of the floor. And that made a big difference. Now, when the speed wall fell, it also knocked down the second row of the speed wall, which just caused everything to fall you know it actually like if you watch it from the overhead view or sorry we don't have the overhead view <laughs> if you watch it from like a different angle it looks kind of cool though the blue domino line is falling normally while at the same time there's a speed wall chasing it as it's falling and then when it actually gets to the middle it almost looks like three walls start to trigger and then it cancels out and then turns into two walls which is really interesting. I'm happy that everything fell, for the most part at least, besides those two staircases, but that was definitely not how we planned it. It was supposed to go in, and then out, and then on top, in and out, and the wall, in and out. I need a bigger space though. Let me know what you thought about the spiral. Should we rebuild it? Should I change the design? Do you like the colors? Like, I don't know. Maybe we'll do it again. And of course, I hope you're staying well, stay safe during these weird times. And maybe, you know, actually I might do a live stream later on where we can all build dominoes together and we can we can do stuff that might be fun just to keep everyone busy if you can i would really appreciate it if you could share the main video we worked very hard on this video and <sighs> i really appreciate all your support i want to give a shout out to the king of dominoes for being the featured community member and leaving this awesome comment the king of dominoes well done well if you want to leave your own comment down below you could be featured in the next video as always i'm lily hevish and keep on building